In today's video, I'm building a train station in Bloxburg. This has been a comment that I've seen on my channel for months, and I thought I'd finally get round to doing it. This train station's gonna include cafes, trains, first class, the whole shebang. And at the end, all you guys are invited in to come all aboard. So we'll just name the plot off that annoying character from the Polar Express. Do you know what kind of train this is? Let's go! As you can see, I kind of had a square for how big I wanted the station to be. But now I think about it, it might need to be a little bit larger. Like I'm big, like I'm chunky. I think to start with, we should build the train track. Over on this side is gonna be the archway that the train goes through. This looks a little bit small, it's like a little bit petite. I'm actually gonna get my custom building hat on and use the concave shape. And as you can see, we'll then be able to make the archway far longer. And obviously we'll just replace these side ones with some pillars. And a little hidden secret about Bloxburg, when you resize, that random like decimal number there. I used to think it was just a bunch of garbage, like that doesn't mean anything. As you can see, we've put it 4.05 on that side. It's actually so you can make it even both sides. So 4.05 that side as well. And then as you can see, ah, oh, we've got a little tunnel. Next up, we are going to go into basements to do the actual train track. I'll search up train tracks. Oh, why am I shouting? Train track! As you can see, there is always a big gap between. As you can see, compared to a car, it's kind of the height of a car. Now, I'd say this is a little bit low. Imagine you fell in these tracks, guys. I'm falling! But I thought we could just use some basic cubes to correct the height. And guys, fun fact, I get the train pretty much every day. So I'm kind of a pro when it comes to the train station. Normally the rails are completely flat as you come into the station. And then they kind of branch off ever so slightly. But as you can see, Bloxburg's not a very round game. It's a very square and flat game. I didn't want to add it going too crazy, you know? And then I'm basically just going to copy and paste what I've just done over here. And once again, fill them up with these chunky boxes. Oh, and by the way, guys, I don't know if I made it clear earlier. This is going to be a two story train station. So this is looking very, very different. But I feel like with this next step, it's going to really start to form that train station. So side, I'm going to put the footpaths and they're going to be at least two blocks wide. Immediately, it's looking ravishing. And I have a joke, guys, actually, about radish and things. Why did the radish blush? Because it saw the salad dressing. <laughs> I know, I'll stop telling jokes. So we've got our two tracks in. I actually kind of wanted them to like go together. I don't know why I didn't do that. With them in, it's time to add in the stairs and the kind of ways you're going to get up to the top. Because of course, big train stations are two stories high. In the center, we're going to have these two escalators. And Jesus, $30,000 for that. 30000 I'm going to go over to them and we've got to remember to make one face the other way. I remember when they first added escalators, I didn't have the foggiest clue how to change the direction. I was like, ah. Uh. And by the way, I haven't got an inspo pick for this. I'm literally just making it up as I go along. Then on this side, since I don't want to go bankrupt, we're going to return to the normal staircases. And some train stations are actually considerate enough to use elevators. So I might use a window elevator and we'll just have one of these. I like to have disability access in my build. And as you can see, this will take you right on to the platform. And the reason I've left the rest of this as green is because we're going to be adding some greenery. The block closest to the path is going to be made of stones. And then the rest of it is going to be plain grass. And I've added a chain link because obviously you can't just walk into a train station. On the stones, we obviously can't put plants on their own. They would die of thirst. Thirsty. But however, what we can put is a beautiful array of plant pots. And I haven't quite decided the plants I want to put in them yet. Kind of part of me wants to use these, but they're so stereotyped, aren't they? I feel like this looks like it belongs in 2016. So instead, I'm going to use cactuses. And apparently you can't put pineapple in there. Maybe because the pineapple needs to go in the sea. It is SpongeBob's house after all. And sunflowers look a little bit tall. So I guess the tropical bush it is. And it is not by coincidence that I'm adding these fences here today and making them yellow. Every train station, wherever you are, will have a yellow line. And to be fair, it's normally a little bit further away from the tracks than like right next to it. But you're meant to stand behind the yellow line. <laughs> Already, isn't this looking so much nicer than that little line we had going before? So I'm going to prop up a nice pathway so you can get down to the platform edge on this side as well. And now for the colours, you guys might call me basic. You're basic. But I honestly think a nice black and white is exactly what this train station needs. And then with a click of the finger, the plants on the other side are done because I thought there was no point you seeing me do that twice. And I kind of left exactly enough room for it. Not me being a maths genius. And oh my gosh, this is the first wall we're placing. Oh wait, we did place one earlier. I think to I think start, start with, we should build the train track. But this is the first wall we're placing to stay. This is technically a little bit of a fraud. This is basically just going to make it look like 
sky through the tunnel. And you can actually get really cute pictures of trains going through tunnels. And building the train is probably the part I'm most scared for this entire video. But anyway, we'll grab more of those walls and pop them along the top. I feel like this is going to look nice on the inside when I pair it with the wall trim. And I've been leaving gaps for the stairs, but I might instead add archways. You know, it's always nice to add a little bit of extra love. And to stop it looking kind of weird, I, I cannot make my mind up to save my life. I might actually make it have a little bit of shape because the rule of thumb is no wall longer than five. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I broke that rule. That does mean we'll probably have to turn the elevator around. And there we go. That's just added a little more flavor because there was no flavor. Where's the flavor? The roof is kind of like a, a nice mansard roof. And I don't know why the arrows are gray. You can literally never find them. And a texture we don't often use in Bloxburg is a diamond plate. Kind of like the stuff that a safe is made out of in a bank. The windows. I feel like I've never truly looked through Bloxburg's windows at what they have to offer me. And I low-key think these fit perfectly. I know they're giving such old-style Bloxburg. This entire build is, actually. But it's kind of nice. It's like a trip down memory lane, a bit of nostalgia. Even though uh, I did just mess them up. No one saw that. No one saw that. You saw nothing. That is so cute, EP. The easiest part about decorating this is we don't need a carpet. We don't need anything other than kind of safety items. It's been about a million years since I've added a fire hydrant. Do you call them that in America? Or a fire extinguisher? Oh yeah, a fire hydrant is something completely different. That's like sprays water out, doesn't it? So I have a couple of fire extinguishers. I mean, I don't know why I've added so many. Hopefully we're a bit safer than that. My train station that I go to is nowhere near this fancy, by the way. But I think fancy ones would have benches. Just before we build the trains, I'm just going to set up where we're going to add like a cafe and things. I mean, we only really have space in this middle bit. As I said, it is now time for the train. And I hope I won't need to look up what a train looks like. I get it all the time. If I look up train, the only one we have is a toy one, which sadly we cannot resize to be massive. I think we'll make it as if it's just arrived at the station. Each carriage can be five along. And it looks like it's going to be a nice three carriage train. Directly underneath, we're going to go into structural items. Hang on a mo. I suppose we can just place the tracks like this. I thought it was going to be a whole mare, but it actually is very easy. And look, they snap into place so well. Never did I ever think I'd find myself underneath a train adding train tracks. I'm blimmin' loving this. Now, the only thing is, it's not really letting me place them the other way. So, we're going to have to do these customly. Wonder bar, these are, are the train track. Why do they look so bad? Like, why do they look so unrealistic? I think maybe the last thing I can try is making them all wood. These look good enough. So, I'm going to look up train. And the first colour that comes up, we're doing. It's red and yellow. And that is a beautiful mountain view, by the way. And also, one thing I'm, I'm going to put before I forget is a traffic light. Did you know that trains have traffic lights just like the roads do? Well, this train, we're going to do a little bit of a raised roof from the front. It's really funny when you like look at the train driver through the tiny little window. Hi. However, for aesthetic sake, this is going to be just the front of the train with no extensions. And I think just that red looks perfect. And I'm searching up number plate. I don't know if trains actually have number plates now I think about it, but we're going to put them anyway. And this is apparently one from Finland. Ooh. Honestly, that looks good for the front of the train. We don't want to overdo it. And then for the wheels, trains have very complicated looks looking wheels. I mean, look at them. You expect me to know how to do that in little old Bloxburg? I'm okay at building. I'm not that good. We're going to use these with once again a painting on it. We are going to change it from being this noob or it will look like he's rolling around doing handstands everywhere. <laughs> And there we go, guys. We're living in a new era where trains run on big wheels. Technically, all that's missing that's in real trains is there's sort of a line between all of the wheels connecting them together. You might be thinking, Reese, that's a very large gap that you've left there. It's surely not just me. Those of you guys who get trains as well, aren't the gaps getting bigger? I feel like I have to do a somersault off the train to reach the platform's edge. Anyway, the train doors, I think these ones, I think the internal walls of a train are just grey. Also, they have those really scary doors, you know, when you go from carriage to carriage. So in this front carriage, it looks like the train driver's gonna be a little bit exposed. Obviously, it wouldn't be like this, but we will separate it at least with the basic cube. I just didn't want to mess the windows up. But it's just a train Roblox version. And did you know, the reason on buses and all that kind of stuff, they make the texture like polka dot and rainbow to actually cover up all the dirt on the bus. They put these crazy colours so that if you spill like gum or anything, you wouldn't notice. But on these ones, I'm gonna add a nice green texture. We're hygienic over here, guys. On the final carriage, I suppose we should 
have a toilet. They normally do. So we'll move this door ever so slightly over. I'm actually gonna have to use this fake wall again. And it's more of like a basin, to be honest. Like that is actually what the toilet is like on a train. I really wouldn't recommend using them. But I don't advise that. <laughs> and finally, some lights. That was actually so much easier than I made it out to be. Not gonna go inside yet, because I don't wanna spoil it till the talk. And now I think it's time to decorate the long-awaited cafe. I feel like we deserve one. The best part about train stations is honestly their food. <laughs> so we have a nice big glass door. Oh, that is nice, actually. Yeah, That's different, different from unusual. unusual. Yeah. I thought someone deleted my building then, but the roof was just off. <laughs> We're gonna add a bunch of windows all along the top of the walls and a linen floor. Oh, can't be anything too crazy back here. Just enough, you know, just enough to keep the cafe afloat. Although they do charge extortionate prices. I bought a sandwich the other day from the train station. It was five pounds. Already people care about in the morning. They just care about getting through the morning. So what we're gonna need is about three coffee machines. No joke. People love their frappuccinos with some maple syrup in it, along with a modern island and we'll make our own trap door. But we'll have it flipped up like some magical <sighs> gravity. And I suppose I should put a menu. I never really put menus in my cafes. <laughs> Goodness knows why. And then we'll have some tables. Once, guys, I will admit, I went into a train station cafe just to sit down. Bear in mind, it was raining and pouring. The old man was snoring. And this guy came up to me. He was like, you can't sit in here. And I was like, why? And he was like, unless you buy something, you can't sit in here for customers only. I was like, mate. So I just went and sat in the pouring rain. Ta-da! cute cafe all done so all we have left to do guys is one more train and then fill in this middle bit here so i'm gonna fill in the middle bit now so how i'm gonna have it is just basically a bunch in a little grid kind of pattern and why not even some picnic tables as well you can come and sit under the shelter of the walkway and i have just thought you're gonna have to be a little bit of a skinny legend to get through these gaps but it's worth it for this beautiful plant life guys last thing we have to do is add the final train and wow olivia rodrigo was right i'm getting deja vu doing this now it's time, ladies and gentlemen, for the train. So this one's going to be a little bit further back, to be fair. And some of you guys in chat are saying, I'm excited, I'm excited. It's a train station. It sure is, honey bunny. I mean, if you couldn't guess that, then I would be a little bit concerned. This one's kind of going to be the Tesla of trains. It's going to be self-driving. And also, it's going to be like the luxury of trains. By that, I mean, it's kind of going to be like the first class. So we're only going to have one row of seats, but they're going to have a breakfast table in the middle. And then this final one is basically just going to be a free for all. We'll have a coffee table. You're actually going to have your own personalised fruit in here. We'll finish it off with a chandelier as well. <laughs> Finally, my secret weapon, which I pull out every video, is the pine trees. And I suppose we should also add a fence gate so you can actually get into the station. Let me in. Let me in. All the tickets are on me today to True Reese's train station. This is one of the most unique builds I have ever done. And of course, all of you guys are super eager to come inside, even Jabba the Hutt, who is now a star of this channel. So let's actually see how this train station would work. Of course, you would come in through these gates. If you are on, let's say this is platform four, then you would get right on this train. And let's say this train's going to London. So you'd hop on, guys, mind the cap. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then we'd come on here, you'd go through the carriage and pick your seat. I personally like to be in the middle of the train or at the back of the train. How vibe is this just like looking out the window i've done a train to london and, and oh my gosh i can't believe kanye's on my train i guess we'll never know but yes once you're sat down in your seat you'll probably see all the people that are mad they missed the train and who else when getting the train tries to like predict exactly where the train's gonna go i always do that this is kind of the carriageway to go upstairs so hopefully there wouldn't be a fire but just in case there is watch out you're on fire you're on fire anyway if you're on a different platform then you would go down here oh i'm trying to go down an up one what a baddie and this is where i I'd probably go get a snack. Hello guys, so what's on the menu? Hot dog, burger, taco. I'm just gonna get a coffee today. I feel very cozy, this feels very real. Anyway, this is for if you're on platform three or if you are on platform two or whatever these platforms are. Anyway, if we go up the right escalator this time, let we can actually try out the elevator. I forgot to put a window, guys. So guys, the train's here, the train's here, we've got to quickly get on. <laughs> you guys would all be dead if this was real life. So this is more of the VIP one, you know? She's even got VIP on, she is in the right carriage and then if we go through here th this is the most luxury carriage so i sit here and oh train assistant assistant there has been a break in on the vip so there we have it guys that was me building this train station in blacksburg thanks to everybody who came and looked around the train station with me don't forget to like and subscribe bye